What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Young Guns Podcast. Lane Pedersen of the Vancouver Canucks, formerly a Carolina Hurricane and formerly a San Jose Shark, all in one season, has been claimed by the Columbus Blue Jackets. So now he's a Columbus Columbus Blue Jacket player, and he will be a Group 6 UFA if he does not play more than 25 games. So why was Lane Pedersen placed on waivers, and why is he on his third team in just a season? So, Luca, well, I mean, what are your thoughts on Lane Pedersen? I mean, look, to be honest, in terms of why he was placed on waivers, I mean, the Canucks, I guess, you know, had too many guys on their roster and they needed to move someone, so they decided to put him on waivers. You know, he's got a good AHL numbers. I think he could help Abbotsford. You know, he's been, he was always a guy that, that you know, uh, was always good in the AHL in, in this brief time that he was there, but... Um, you know, in terms of the NHL, I mean, his numbers aren't the best. Um, and to be honest, he hasn't really played that well. I know he did okay. His numbers are not bad in Vancouver. But to be honest, this isn't really like anything big um, for for him or for, for the Columbus Blue Jackets for that matter. He probably ends up playing a few games for Columbus, probably ends up going back on waivers at some point, unless Columbus has a different plan with uh with him but you know he is an rfa but like chris mentioned he's going to turn into a U- a group six ufa if he doesn't play 25 games which to be honest i don't think that's going to happen but i could be wrong i do um, think that's going to happen and I'll, I'll tell you why so gustav nyquist got um injured he's placed on ir so okay. there's a trade piece you know immediately removed off the list Lane Pedersen, okay, yes, he was part of the the blockbuster deal that included uh, Brent Burns, and him and Brent Burns were uh, traded to the Carolina Hurricanes. Then the Ethan Bear deal, he was paired up with Ethan Bear, where they were both sent to the Vancouver Canucks. And now he's placed on waivers. He gets claimed by Columbus. So it makes sense in terms of Columbus's uh, uh, point, a standpoint, because you know a guy's injured. The trade bait, right? So now they need someone else to kind of, kind of, you know, replace, you know, him in terms of that trade bait list. So it wouldn't be surprising if this guy gets moved by the deadline. Uh, it, a matter of fact, you know, the Columbus Blue Jackets did play the Vancouver Canucks last night, so it's kind of funny how, uh, you know, he he played against them and now he's with them. And not only that, um, it's kind of interesting if you really look at this. You know, he is. Only, you know, yeah, you could be considered an AHL player, right? He really hasn't played much in the NHL, but he has three points in 11 games. Liam Foody, who was drafted in the first round by the Columbus Blue Jackets, hasn't been anything special. He has three points, but in more games played. So I wouldn't be surprised if Lane Pedersen maybe replaces him in the lineup. Or, you know, you could look at maybe a guy like Mathieu Olivier as well, who could come out of the lineup, uh, who only has uh, seven points in... um in 44 games so you know those are two guys that could come out of the lineup for lane Pedersen, who could be used or dangled as trade bait because the trade deadline is coming up very soon march 3rd so mark your calendars and in turn in terms of you know his nhl totals in 55 games two goals six assists for a total of eight points as of right now he's on pace to have his best season yet with three points in 11 games, one goal and two assists. In 2021, 2022 at San Jose, played 29 games, only two assists. In 2020, 2021 at Arizona, 15 games played, one goal, two assists for a total of three points. Spent most of his time in the AHL, played with Absford uh, Canucks, 24 points in 18 games. Pretty impressive numbers there. With San Jose Barracuda, 18 points in 22 games. Pretty good. Uh, Tux, uh, Tuxen, uh Tuxen Road Runners, uh, 17 points in 16 games. Pretty interesting there. Uh, in 2019-2020 with the Road Runners, 34 points in 37 games. Uh, the year before that, 47 and 67 and 26 in 63. So his AHL numbers are pretty impressive, but but can that necessarily translate into him being a solidified NHL player potentially playing on the fourth line, especially on a depleted team like the Columbus Blue Jackets, who have been experiencing quite a number of injuries and also are a bottom feeder team that are tanking and potentially will have the highest chances at drafting Connor Bedard. Can we potentially see Lane Pedersen being dealt by the deadline, or can we see him, you know, put up pretty impressive numbers considering that 
you know, he will have a lot more playing time. I mean, look, in terms of a trade, I mean, this guy's been traded, what, three times in the last year? So, like, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. Two times traded, one times waivers. <laughs> he also ended up getting traded uh, for a fourth-round pick in 2021 to San Jose. So, in the last two years, he's been traded three times. Um, he's also ended up on waivers with uh, with the uh, Vancouver Canucks and got claimed. So, teams clearly like this guy. I don't know why, but the teams clearly do. Um, and, look, to be honest, you know, he's not a guy that threads the needle, like I said. He's, he's a fourth-line guy at best, a depth guy at most. Um, you know, he's probably going to play that uh, role, um, probably ends up being in the AHL as early as next year. But look, I guess for Columbus, look, they need bodies. He was a body. He gets paid league minimum. Like, it's not a big deal for them either. Um, but to be honest, like, this guy is nothing. Like, and I don't want to be disrespectful. I know a lot of people probably think that this is a good move for them. And look, for Columbus, it is. I mean, look, they're not in the playoffs. They're not going to make the playoffs. Um, they need bodies. Like I said, it's 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 a, just a contract that they add to their books and they get them for free. But Essentially speaking, like, you know, this doesn't do anything for anybody. Um, I'll be honest, and I don't want to sound disrespectful. It's just more so a situation of, like, look, like, he's got eight points in 55 games. He was a minus 16 with San Jose last year. Yeah, his numbers have been good with Vancouver, but, like, I don't know if he comes into Columbus and, like, starts playing really good hockey that he ends up changing, you know, Brad Larson's mind necessarily and saying, oh, you know, we're going to keep you long term. Like, I think this is just a move. Or it could be like, like I alluded to before, you know, dangled as trade bait since they lost Gustav yeah, Nyquist. Who you'll, was get a seventh round, trade bait. you'll get a seventh round pick for him maybe if you're lucky. Yeah. But, you know. Look, uh, Thomas Drant, um, you know, stated that Lane Pedersen was acquired as a salary dump in the Ethan Bear trade, built himself into an asset with the Canucks and will stay in the NHL after being placed on waivers. Good for him. So as of right now, as it stands, he is an NHL player. So we're happy to hear that. So the Columbus Blue Jackets do get themselves an NHL caliber player. We'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Is this a good move for Columbus? Will he be traded by the 2023 deadline? Or can he potentially be a piece with the Columbus Blue Jackets moving forward? Make sure to write that in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our podcast if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Young Guns Podcast, hopefully to cover more trades as opposed to waiver claims, which we've had a lot of waiver claims. Yeah, because season. the waiver claims lately have been a little bit excessive. and Well, not excessive, but like they've died down a little bit, but like... We need trades. Like at the end of the day, trade, yeah. the trade deadline's coming up. Like there's the so trades many that have been games. happening are you know mediocre at most. Yeah, like look, if Columbus crazy. wants to throw Lane Pedersen into a deal to make a blockbuster move, I'm all for it. All right, like, well then we'll yeah. talk about Lane Pedersen as many times as we he's want. A, he's been part of two big deals so far, so that's it. So just maybe, keep maybe there's a trend going on there. Anyways, guys, see you on the next episode.